Need to design a GUI for an IoT device that's intended for multiple language markets? GUI X Studio makes it easy. Let me show you how. Here's a GUI for a smartwatch, which we've built for use in English-speaking areas. You can see that it has basic smartwatch functions like date and time, health monitoring, contact list, and some other typical functions. Note that all of the text strings are in English. We did allow for the addition of new languages by including a language selection screen, which we can get to from the options icon on the lower row of buttons. To add support for a new language, we'll use GUIX Studio, our PC-based WYSIWYG design tool. All the images, fonts, and color selections are among the resources shown on the right. We'll be working with the strings resources. First, we'll open the Edit Languages dialog. As you can see, there is only one language enabled, English. We'll add a second language, Spanish, and call it language number two. This will expand our language spreadsheet to a third column. You can see that Spanish now is included, but we don't yet have translations for all the strings. Now we'll add the string translations. Here we have a couple of options, both very simple. One, we can export the entire string set as an XLIF file. XLIF stands for XML Localization Interchange File Format, and is commonly used for translations. Using the exported XLIF file, we could send the strings out to a professional translator who would provide translations for each string in the desired language. They'd then return a new XLIF file that we would import at this point. Two, the other option for simple examples is to manually add translations for each string using the string editor in GUIX Studio. We've used the first option given the large number of strings. We've previously sent out the XLIF file and got back one for Spanish. To import the new XLIF file, we just click Import. We'll navigate to where we have the new XLIF file, on our desktop. We'll select the English to Spanish.xlf file. Now we have all our strings translated. Notice some do not appear to have a Spanish equivalent. For those, the default is to use the English term, or we can provide a translation manually. Next, we need to add an option on the Language Selection screen for Spanish. To do this, we highlight the window underscore language screen, which brings it into view. We'll also expand the contents of that list to show what we have at this point. To add a new entry, we right-click on the language list. Then, insert, text, pixel map prompt. That gives us our widget, and we'll finish it over in the properties area to our left. First, we'll name the prompt, prompt underscore Spanish. Next, we'll check the transparent box. Now we'll select a string from our string resources or add a new one if necessary. Here we've already defined string underscore Spanish, so we'll just select it. Note its text content is displayed below. For our font, we'll use the same one we used for English called small. We'll align the text left justified. And finally, we'll use white for our color. Now we're ready to rebuild the example and see what we've got. First, we select project, Generate all output files. This creates the resource and specification files that define the GUI completely, and which are referenced by our MSVC and target projects. Our project also includes the code to handle all the selections made by the user of the watch, including changing the language as selected. We'll build this example to run on the PC using Microsoft Visual C++ Express 2010. All of our examples have complete projects for building on the PC or on your target system. Now that we've launched MSVC and our project is loaded, we'll just build it. So now we have our smartwatch showing English, which is still our default selection. Let's go to the options and select a new language. We can change the theme or language, so let's click on language. Here we see our new choice, Spanish. Let's select it and immediately we have all of our strings in Spanish. Let's tour the watch screens and see some of the strings that have been changed. So there you have it, a dual language smartwatch. Adding language support to a GUI is fast and easy using GUIX and GUIX Studio. This is just one of the many useful capabilities of GUIX Studio that you can use to help speed your new product to market. The Synergy platform includes unlimited licenses to GUIX Studio and the GUIX runtime libraries. Sign up at the Synergy Gallery to get started.